Welcome to Monday's edition of Renew. I'm Pastor Tony Cowan. Thanks for joining us and let's get right to the point today. We're in beautiful East Tennessee toward the Great Smoky Mountains. This is part of God's country and I hope you enjoy the backdrop that we have today. We enjoy being here and uh, I believe it will serve as a purpose for our series that we're going to start and, and do for the next couple of weeks. And that is the fact that God is a good God. God is good. If you've joined us the last couple of weeks, we took up a series on the God kind of love or the love that God has for us. That is very important for us to understand. And if you did not view that, you can go back and on YouTube and the archives and, and see that. It's very important that we understand that God is love. That is who he is. That's what the word of God describes him as being. But for this week and next week, we're going to be talking about the goodness of God, the fact that God is good. I believe through these you're going to get a more truthful, correct perception of God. You know, I think I've made this statement before, but it bears repeating. And I heard this in Bible school a number of years ago and it just stuck with me. The way you perceive God will greatly affect your approach to God, your walk with Him, your relationship with Him, and of course, you being able to receive from Him. If you have a wrong, distorted perception of God, that's going to affect your walk with Him. That's going to affect how you approach Him, uh, how you receive from Him, and all those things. But, so it's very important that we have the right perception of God. You know, really, everybody has different perception of, of, of things. I mean, we were driving through the Smoky Mountains yesterday. I could take a group of ten people and drive through the mountains, and on the other end of the mountains, we could give everybody's description and perception of what they saw and of course you'd have 10 different opinions probably you know to somebody had never seen any mountains at all they would be you know pretty impressive as far as their their height goes but if you grew up in the Rocky Mountains or the Swiss Alps or somewhere like that they're not that tall but some people would be impressed by their you know, by the trees and the vegetation and some other things like that you know they are beautiful mountains but everybody would have a different perception of that but you know, it's important for us to have the right perception of God. So much of our perception is marred by other people's opinions and by man-made religion and traditional ideas. Man-made tradition and religious ideas and opinions about God have really been passed down through the ages and they've given us a wrong, distorted uh, perception of God. It's, it's maybe a little truth in there mixed with some other deception. You know, there's some things that we need to keep in mind as we go through this series and as you approach the Word and as you walk with God. You know, always stay on God's side. That was another uh, lesson I learned in Bible school many years ago. I remember the instructor telling us this as he was going through a lot of the Old Testament scriptures. He said, always stay on God's side. And I think that's really, really good advice for us because it's better for us to stay on what we know than get out into the weeds of things we don't really know and understand. See, there's a lot of things that we just don't, we don't, we, we don't really see the whole picture. We're, we're kind of looking at a, a small piece of the puzzle and not the whole thing. So we really have to stay with what God said because He sees the whole picture. And if there's anybody who knows God, it has to be Him. That's point number two. It, you have to know that God knows more about Himself than anybody else does. So we need to have his authority on the subject and we need to understand what he says about himself. And then third of all, we need to ask ourselves, where did our perception, where did our beliefs about God come from? Where, where did they originate from? It, was it somebody else's opinions or ideas? Where is that rooted in? Because a lot of people have a bad experience or a bad perception of God, even an offense toward God, and they will pass that on to you. They'll pass that on to other people. So a lot of times our, you know, our kind of suspicions about God are really formed in other people's offenses and opinions. Don't allow somebody else's offense and opinion become yours. You go find out for yourself. Go find out specifically from the Word of God for yourself who God is and what He's like. I think that'll go a long way right there. Now we have a scripture today found in Psalm 119, Psalm 119 in verse 68. It says, it reads this way, you are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. You know, God is only good. In fact, when other translation, I believe it's the New Living Translation, says it this way, you are good 
and do only good. See, the only God can only do good because He is good. You know, religious tradition, again, and man-made opinions about God have given us the idea that both good and bad come from the same source, that God produces both good and bad, and everything that happens in our life is some part of the mysterious will of God, you know, deepening our piety and creating something in us. That is not true. There is an adversary out there. His name is Satan. He's the devil. He is the originator of all evil. He is what proceeds, uh, evil proceeds from him, not from God. We need to keep that in mind, that God is a good God. He is only good, and so he can only do good. He can only reproduce and produce good in our life and for us. And I believe that right there, that one reality, if we'll get that right there, and stay on God's side, that he is a good God, that he always does good, he's always out for our good, is going to go a long way for us developing the right perception about God and helping us walk with him. Well, that's all the time I've got for today. Join us again tomorrow. And if you like additional resources, go to TonyCowan.org. We'll see you tomorrow.